iron pyrite and this is marcasite. They're both iron disulfides. The main difference is, especially visually, for the iron pyrite you'll see it's in cube shapes and I'll edit in a video that's a little bit better that shows the cubes. And then you've got the marcasite which is crystals that kind of form in a line as opposed to the cubes here. So we can use this as a striker so you're not impacting this because you'll bust this marcasite up but it's a lot more reactive and you can scratch off a spark and throw that into your tinder. So here I have a piece of tinder fungus and so to prepare this I'm going to take it and scratch up some of the fluff. I want that nice fluffy material on top. And this was just a polypore that was cut in cross sections and then dried in those cross sections. And so you get this nice fluffy material that has a lot of um, surface area. If I can prevent the wind from blowing it. So marcasite's right here, we're taking the flint and then we're shaving off a spark. It's going to shave off a piece of that marcasite into the tinder fungus. And you can kind of see where that started to build that coal up on top of it. So this is just another piece of marcasite that was busted apart so you're going to find it in a round orb that gets bu busted open. But this one's been used a little bit on the center. And this is just a tinder fungus, a polypore that was cut in cross sections. This is iron pyrite. You can strike this, it's going to get busted up. I don't know if you can use it the same way as marcasite, where you strike off a piece, like a striker. It's a lot more brittle. But this one's embedded into some quartz, so it's a little bit better for percussion, for actually hitting it. I don't know how well it'll work for striking. And then you've got flint, you can use chert, you can use quartz, anything with a hardness of 7. I'm going to place this right over here, I'm going to place that coal there. So you've got time, because this is a tinder fungus, to build your ember. You want to fluff up the top part. Scratching the top with a blade or something sharp. Could be chert, flint if you needed to. And that gives you all this fluff. And that's what's going to take your spark. But you can see I'm building the ember here with other pieces of that tinder fungus. Once it takes a coal, you've got a lot of time and you can make multiple embers. So if your first attempt fails, You've got multiple attempts here. So it's the advantage of using this tinder fungus. You'll notice that marcasite gets all over your hands because it's um, that iron disulfide. It makes a spark really well, but you're going to have a hard time getting this off of you. That's it. Pretty simple. It may take you a few attempts. What I've found is best is to go straight at it, kind of pull the marcasite away and move forward a little bit, but you don't want to move forward too far or your flint is going to come in contact with your tinder. So you almost really want to press down hard and then pull the marcasite away and try to keep this. It can move forward, but not much. 
because you don't want to move that around and you're going to have to have some way to block the wind. I'm going to move that even though I'm not trying. I don't have any fluffed up material just so you can see them land. And I'm going to, and how long they kind of last. So you can see if that was fluffy material, it would take. Actually, I may have made one. Oh. It, it's not perfectly dark, but it should give you an idea now of the sparks. Because I can feel them <laughs> on my arms when they go away the way I, I'm not planning. <laughs> 